Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we are going to solve one more question on fluid in rigid body. And this is the question we have on the board here. It says a 50 centimeter diameter vertical cylindrical tank open to the atmosphere contains 20 cm high water. The tank is now rotated about the center line and the water level drops at the center while it rises at the edges. A. Determine the angular velocity at which the bottom of the tank will first be exposed. And B. We have to determine the maximum water height at this moment. So, this is a question we have. Let's identify our parameters. So we first have the diameter of the cylindrical tank. We also have the height or the original height for the for the water. So in order to solve this question, we have to get a diagram which will aid us in our solution or will make our work easier. So they said we should um, there's water inside a cylindrical tank. So let's draw our cylindrical tank. So let's say this is our water level here. And this is our Z address. So we want to use our Z address here. And this is the original height, which is H4. And H4 is equal to 20 cm. We also have the diameter, which is the bigger diameter. So the whole thing is um, from here to here would be 25. Since this is the radius, so the radius is 25 so far. Um, I is equal to 25. Now we have our uh, point zero here, which is our center, and we have R here. But before we solve this question, we are to we are supposed to analyze whatever has been given to us. So, in our analysis, we have to know that our small R will be on the zero or on the bottom of the tank. So our R is equal to zero, and our Z. Since it's at the center line, it's also going to be zero because it's being rotated about the origin. So it's going to be zero. Now, also, you would like to determine the free surface or the free surface height, which is ZS. And our ZS, there is also going to be equal to zero. Since at the, before the rotation of the fluid, it was in the middle. So as the is also going to be zero. So now we would have to find our angular velocity at the bottom of the tank when it's being first exposed. So at the bottom of the tank, when it's being first exposed, our ZS is going to be zero here. Okay, so let's get our formula for the free surface. That's ZS R is equal to H naught minus omega squared over 4G multiplied by R big R squared minus 2 small R squared. Now we have this data here. So we know that our ZS small R is going to be zero. So equal to H naught minus omega squared over 40. We know our R here, then minus two into bracket zero squared, which this is going to give us H naught minus omega squared over 4G R squared. Now we want to make the omega the subject since that's what you are, you are supposed to find for. So we would have omega squared is equal to h4h 
not g all over r squared so this implies our omega is equal to root of 4h not g over r squared so now let's find our omega so omega so 4 times the h naught we had the height to be worse so you see so we convert it into meters that is going to be 0 0.2 times the acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 all over the r squared this was diameter, so we converted it here. So it's going to be 0 0.25 squared. So now let's do the computation and see what we get. So we are getting our omega to be equal to 11.21 rads per second. So this is what we have here. We can decide to leave our answer here, but it's not advisable since we humans, we can't appreciate answers in rads, but in revolutions per minute, we know what it's about. So we appreciate the answer more in revolutions per minute. So let's try and convert it into revolutions per minute. So we know that our omega, let me clean all this. So now omega is equal to two pi n over 60. So we want to find n, right? And that's in revolutions per minute. So it's going to be omega times 60 over 2 pi. So our n is going to be equal to 11.21 times 60 over 2 pi. And let's see what that gives us. And that's giving us 107.05 RPM. So, so in this case, we know that in every minute we have 107.05 revolutions. So now there's the answer for the first one, that's the A. Let's clean and find for the maximum height. We can write our answer here. So for the maximum height, let's still write our equation for the free surface. So Z S. So since it's maximum, we have to write a bigger. It's equal to H naught plus omega squared over four G big R squared since the the small r side is zero that's why you know that so we have our z big r is equal to our h naught is 20 let's convert it into um meters so 0 0.2 plus 11.21 squared times 0 0.2 squared all over 4 times 9.81. So we are going to get our maximum height to be equal to 9.81.
sorry, the big R is 0 0.35. That was a mistake. Mm. 0 0.35. Yeah. For our CS, we are getting 0 0.40 meters or 40 centimeters. So, this is the maximum height it can cover. 